All right, my name is Kevin Whitenack. Uh, this is my uh, screencast o -matic, um, of the websites that I'm going to explain on how I would use them in my classroom. Uh, I teach second grade, um, so some of these may be uh, a little low for if any, uh, any of you are high school, but these, this, this is how I would use these websites in my class. Uh, I would, I'm going to go over four websites that we went over in class that we looked at. Some of you may have talked about them in your uh, journals. Some of you may not have. But these are the ones that I would use uh, in my class and how I would use them. Like I said, I'm going to go over four of them on how I would use them in my class. And then at the end, I'm going to give you two websites that I just think are fun to use. One we had a chance to look at in class, and another one is... Uh, website that I found this past year that my kids absolutely loved. Um, so here's the first website and it's the Smithsonian National Museum of History. Uh, I really enjoyed this website. I enjoyed how interactive this was, um, the tour. However, the one thing that I did not like about this website was you can't really zoom in on the um, on the exhibits. Uh, you can see here what you're look. I mean, you can see what you're looking at, but you can't really get any more information other than what you see. Now, you can use this in many different ways. Uh, I know we talk about habitats, which is a, what a lot of my uh, websites are going to uh, be surround be um, focused on. Because we have to talk about habitats, and science is an area where we could really use um, a little bit of help in the second grade because we don't have much to teach, uh, many resources to teach it. So, um, as you can tell, you can just look around and kind of um, you can see what um, all the different animals. Uh, you could ask your students, you could use this, I would use this and say, you know, ask my students, what is it that we're looking at, what type of animals, um, what type of environment or habitats do they live in, uh, and then let them kind of discuss, you know, maybe what continent they live in or live on, and uh, what type of camouflage they might need to stay safe, what kind of food they might eat. Um, like I said, we're just, I'm just going to go through here just a little bit. Uh, we get into something like the rainforest. The kids might say, uh, you know, the monkeys and stuff, they have to have trees to live in. Uh, I might ask them, what do they think a rainforest, what the environment of a rainforest is? Uh, and so, therefore, they could explain to me what they think, if they know what a rainforest is, or maybe they're just taking a guess on what a rainforest is. Next, I would talk about, um, that, that's going to be it for this one. My next one I'm going to use is the Tri-Science. Uh, again, a lot of my stuff is going to be focused around science because of um, our lack of resources, I feel like, uh, to teach science. Um, there's a lot of experiments on this website that I extremely love. Um, the water cycle, we talk a little bit about the water cycle in my class. So that would be a good experiment to talk about. Um, we, I have some other experiments that we can do in class as well that aren't exactly on this website um, for the water cycle too. But if you just scroll through, it gives you a ton of different uh, experiments to use. You have field trips you can go on, adventures, they can, games they can play, and things like that. Uh, one reason why I really like it, it also has live cams. Um, of different uh, different places, which again I love, and I'll get more into that because I will go into my very next website, which would be the Atlanta Zoo. The Atlanta Zoo is probably one of the my favorite websites that we looked at, um, and I'm going to show you why. I'm, I just went into animals. I'm going to go into mammals. Uh, the sloth. I'm going to scroll down here and where it says sloth cam. And why I really like this is it connects you to different types of live cameras. 
Um, and this will load up here in a second. And then, oh, you can see what the sloths are doing. Obviously, there's not much going on in the world of sloths right now. Uh, but you can go to different aquariums and check out the shark cam uh, when this loads up. And your kids will absolutely love this. Oh, there's an the, uh, actual live shot in an aquarium. Um, so the kids will love that. You can even talk about again. You can talk about the habitat that it lives in. What do sharks live in? What do they need uh, to be in there in order for them to survive? You can look at the penguins. This, oh, all right. Um, obviously, there's not much going on here either, and that's kind of loud. Um, so it takes you to a live shot of, the, of an, uh, another aquarium where the penguins are. You can see sea otters. When it loads up, uh, I can hear seals, but I don't see the otters. Uh, but anyways, this is why I really love the um, animal, the Atlanta Zoo website because it lets you do all those things. Uh, the next one I'm going to take you on is this geography site, um, the Shepherd software, and I really like the games that it lets you play. Um, you can talk about capitals or states uh, with kids, uh -huh. around, kids around my age. I would need that. Um, so here you would look for Vermont. Rhode Island. Uh, and again, this is a game you can let your kids play in class uh, to help them that will tell you a state and you just New Hampshire. pick out which one Connecticut. it is Maine Massachusetts West Virginia you get the idea um, but I, this is a good one to help teach your kids about uh, the states and which state is what um, the next two websites I'm going to show are just ones that I really enjoyed um, the the uh, 100,000 stars is a website that's just I think it's amazing that we can actually show our kids. I think our kids look uh, at our up in the sky and they see stars, but they don't really realize how far the stars are away from us and or how f big our galaxy actually is. Um, and then this can take you all the way in to... And this will show them how far we are from the sun, all kinds of things. And again, this is just something to show them that would, I think would absolutely blow their mind because of how big our, it'll show them exactly how big our universe is. And the more you zoom out, the more it shows, there's as big as we get. So then we can zoom back in and it'll take us right back into our teeny tiny galaxy and go all the way back to the sun. Um, again, I think this is just neat for kids to be able to see how um, how big our universe is and maybe help them wrap around, wrap their tiny brains around how big it is. Um, this is my last one. Um, I discovered this last year and this is an absolutely fabulous website um, my kids love it you get to play all kinds of games um, you can play there's math games there's uh, games there's games where you count by twos there's games where you have to act out words kind of similar to charades there's YouTube videos where they can sing songs like obviously let it go was a big hit this past year um, happy was a big hit a lot of these games are interactive. Uh, for example, all these running games. Um, you can run. The kids have to run in place and run in place and run in place. And you, as a teacher, control on how fast your guy moves. If the kids are moving fast and trying hard, then obviously he can. you can control it to move fast. If you've got a couple kids that aren't, you can hold the guy back. And um, pretty soon the kids will catch on that. Uh, they need to pick it up because they're letting their classmates down. Um, you've got dance videos, Zumba videos, uh, body spell. They spell out words that you can enter in. Um, you can enter in spelling words and they have to spell them out with their body. Uh, word jam is where they act out the words. Mega math marathon, they have to answer math questions to and run. 
Um, they have stretching that will calm you down. It's a pretty neat website, and it's all about brain breaks. Uh, when your kids are hitting that point where they're like, oh, I don't want to be here. I'm tired of this. I'm ready for, you know, reading to be over. And they just need a little bit of break to uh, get, you know, get some energy out, gather themselves. That's that's what this website's for. Um, I really enjoyed this class. It, it gave me a lot of insight on a lot of new websites. Um, so, uh, again, this is my favorite websites and how I would use them in my class. Thank you.